there. It's Shell and Clint is doing chores because it's supposed to either rain or snow tonight or this afternoon. So it is Friday, though you'll see this on Monday. Um, we're going to continue working on the Eclectic Journal. And I'm not sure what the cover is going to be. I have tons of eclectic items. So I'm just going to look through here because what I want to do today, sorry, is uh, <clears throat> going to be really fun. I've done it before and I was kind of looking through things this morning. And I was thinking, oh yeah, let's do that. So that is how I came to this conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. So we went, Clint's birthday yesterday, we went to a new place. Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? For lunch. And it was fine. It wasn't um, anything special. And it was crazy. It was like double the price of, like, Chick-fil-A, not Chick-fil-A, but um, my Kentucky Fried Chicken. It was like 40, well, ended up costing us 50 bucks. For two lunch lunches it was crazy I don't like to spend money on things that I can make better at home and that's kind of how I felt about the situation <laughs> told Clint we should have went to um, Kentucky Fried Chicken I would have enjoyed it more because I just had a chicken sandwich and he had barbecue and man, it was, wasn't was worth it. And later he's like, I've been so sick from that barbecue. <laughs> so anyways, okay, we are going to make secret journaling spots all throughout this book. So um, I've been thinking about, you know, what I want to do, that kind of thing. So I have these papers still that we can use and so my idea is to on every page or every two pages is to have secret journaling spots so really that's all you have in this journal because you know I can <laughs> so I think I'm going to do it on this page because it's not really my favorite page to me those look like a hot air balloons like really odd and I might do it on both sides just because I'll show you what I'm talking about and plus I have these scraps right here <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make like little pockets in these so let me get some um like some soft paper, which I might have some actually that would work. You just want, I don't know, you know, you don't want like a cardstock. Actually, any of these would work, which would be perfect for this. You're not going to see them anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, so we went out for Clint's birthday, and then we went and had our um, colonoscopy consultations and I have something in my stomach or area that he wants to take a CAT scan of before he does or CT scan before he does um, the uh, colonoscopy so they're gonna set up a CAT scan hopefully it's nothing to worry about he didn't seem too concerned about it but who knows Again, I try not to worry too much about life, things that happen. I used to really be a worrier. And, um, you know, God's shown me that there's no, no reason to worry. I mean, if you die, the only, I mean, the worst part about it is you're leaving people behind. You know, if you know where you're going, that's the way I look at it. So I'm just making like little um, little areas that we're going to glue down. It just needs to overlap enough to glue it. I'm just going to 
to do a, bu a bunch of those, do them in different sizes. Like I said, you're not really going to see this part. Let's do that one a little bit bigger. And I can't remember where I saw this idea from, but it's such a fun idea. So, Philbert, I don't know if you guys remember him, I talked about him the other day. Anyways, you guys, he was like flopping around like chicken out of water or a fish out of water whatever it's called and uh, I thought he I really thought he was passing you know because he's a feral cat so the next day he was gone so Clint and I kind of walked around to see where he was so we could bury him because I figured well he was so sick he probably just kind of wandered off and passed away later that day I was making a video and he's sitting by the cat food and I think what happened and now he's like eating and he ran away from us because he's feral and yeah I think he uh, maybe got hit by a car but not horribly, and he got stunned. I have no clue. All I can say is it was God because, I mean, he was acting like Fozzie was right before he passed away. I'm still just, my mind is blown. Okay, so you're gonna take these and we're going to like rearrange them. Uh, probably like a quarter of an inch or so away from the edge. I need my art glitter glue. It's cold in here today. I don't think I did the heater the right way. <laughs> There's a timer on the heater. And I'm not sure if I um, set it to turn on or to turn off. So, anyways, it's cold. Because I was kind of messing with it and when I was setting the timer it was still on so does that mean it goes off in nine hours or it comes on in nine hours I have no clue so I'm going to do that to these really quick and what I'm doing is I'm just lining up I'm doing the edge of both of them because they're going to be little tags and that way because the tags are going to go in here and that way it doesn't like get um you know, caught on that one side that isn't glued down. Yeah, I can't remember who makes these. I can tag the one that I did before. So this one could go like this, or you could even put it like over this. So you'd have a tag here and a tag here. Does that make sense? It will here in a minute. <laughs> so this video will probably be a two-parter just because I kind of want to um, do both of these on video. I didn't line them up perfectly, which is fine, but yeah, so then after our appointments, we went to Dairy Queen and got, well, we went and bought groceries and got gas, you know. Who needs to know stuff like that? So this one could go here. And, uh, but Clint said he wanted some cheesecake for his birthday. I haven't made his cake yet, which I did link it in the other um, video for Sue. So Sue, it's over there. I have made a video of it before, and I found it on my line on my channel, which is this channel. So oh, I think I sent you the link. So this would go here, maybe, like that. And I'll show you this really quick, and you'll kind of. And I get the idea. Probably won't do all this, you know, like putting the envelopes and stuff on the other one. 
on the other side. Won't do that on camera. We'll see. But there's really no sense in watching that, is it? So maybe it will just be a one, one timer. So this one could go here. I don't think I want one there, but this one, we can't really put it here because there's the opening there. So, <clears throat> but we could put it underneath here and then have it come out there, okay. And you could skip this part and you could just do like a little, um, and that's what I was considering. You could um, just do little scraps and glue them down and make up those pockets. But this is going to give me bigger pockets, I think. Because it's not going to, um, you know, your glue won't take up that extra space. Does that make any sense to anyone? Okay, so like that one could go there. Put a tag here, and we could put a tag here, which I don't really like that idea. That's okay. That's why we're kind of making these, you know, before we do it. And you don't have to have the whole page covered either. So let's see what we can do here. Let's raise it, maybe. So we could have a tag there. And we could have a tag here, right? Hold on. I want it to, to go on the outside so we can pull from this direction instead of trying to get into the center of the book. So, and then this one <coughs> could go like that. This one. I have to find, find the thing. Could go like that, okay. No, because there. We could put this one down further like that. And this one, we could do like this. Let's do it like that. That way we're going to have, yeah, let's do it like this. Just want to make sure everything, and especially you're going to think of tags, so you can actually pull the tags out. So, figure out how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to glue down this whole area. You know, and if you really wanted to, you could leave like side open and you could have even more tags or whatever you do whatever you want to do but anyways this doctor he was really cool he's like a um toklin he's a doctor of all you know um i forgot what i was going to say but because clint had a spot he was worried about like for cancer like skin cancer and so Clint's asking him, who do I talk to about that? And he said, oh, I can just look at that for you right now. <laughs> he doesn't think it was anything to worry about. But I thought that's pretty cool that, you know, and he uh, called me in a CAT scan. And I said, since you're doing that, can you go ahead and do my mammogram just because I'm due for one. And I haven't called my doctor to have her schedule me one or whatever. He's like, oh yeah, I can do that. So, so anyways, we have our colonoscopies and that the throat thing scheduled for May, the end of May. So, I don't know about my CAT scan. Like I said, I'm not typically one to worry. You know, you kind of get things in your head and you think, oh, you know, but, I mean, I don't want to leave anyone behind, but to go to heaven makes me kind of excited. Not like I'm that excited, like I want to go out right now and go. <laughs> but, you know, I was brought up in a Baptist household and God is the forefront of my life. We don't go to church just because Clint hurts so bad that he can't um, can't sit there that long. Okay, so we have a tag here. We'll have a tag here. We'll have a tag here. One here, one here, and one here. Okay. 
So now we're just going to cover it and we're going to cover it so that you can't really see what we have where. So that's why I was thinking we could use this. We could use some of this stuff over here. <clears throat> so like... I think I'm going to just mark it. So I don't want to go super close to that just because it'll be bulky. So I am just going to, let me raise it up a little to get your scraps. Okay, and then we're going to cut it like right here. So yeah, I think Clint had a happy birthday. Mom called him. So he he appreciated that. So you just don't want to, you know, cover up any of your um, places where you're going to put the... Don't want that side better. I do love that paper, but that's okay. Yeah, but Mom called him early yesterday and having issues with her iPad so she wants to send it back. I've already told you guys this. I don't remember. Okay, I'm not worried about that side. Let's put it like here. And I may even decide to do something else on that side. We don't have to have the same thing on both sides of paper, you know. Okay, so then I would need a piece kind of even overlap in here and oh no, I can't overlap there because there, okay. So I'd have to go right here, but it could come all the way up to here, you know. So let's see. Maybe we'll do this one. So yeah, that would be fun. Man, you guys, we are work. Since work. <laughs> Trying to get out there and work with him, but I know how to do the work. I just, it's not my favorite. So you just want, where's the opening? Michelle, you're such a goofball. Oh, is that what I had planned? I don't know. So we're going to put it right there. See, because I was talking about going all the way up. See, you really have to think this through, right? That was Clint. Can you guys hear that wind? I want to put this a little bit further over. I don't know what I was, what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so this one. Okay, I'm gonna put it like right here. But anyways, yeah. <clears throat> I know you guys are looking at me saying, Michelle, that's not the way to do it. You don't know what you're doing. You're right. <laughs> Might turn it like that. Ooh, let's have the red. Yeah, we'll go with the green. Boy, it's quite getting windy. Oh my gosh, isn't it? So I set the heater last night, but I don't know if I set it to turn off or turn on. <laughs> well, I mean, it's on, right? Well, what yeah. You, you set the heater. You just turn it on? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's on 70 right now. I think the flame is on. I'm okay if the flame's on. No, it's on. Because it was cold. <laughs> Pretty, though. It sure does look like it. It is now. It's on 5. Okay, Pretty, though. So we have that, but yeah. Hi, guys. Man, it is howling, howling. Man, I thought the door, I thought you were at the door, and it wasn't you. It was just the wind, the wind was blowing yeah, so was, much that... Yeah, we don't have a hook on that, do we? Yeah, oh, don't we? I don't know. On the inside? Yeah, on the inside. Yeah, I was thinking we need to put another handle yeah, down, was, down yeah. further so you can really pull it closed. Well, once that cord, we don't need that cord no more so we can take it out, the other cord. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, two or three. 
Or three what? Blenders? Uh, two right now. Okay, because I have one I think is a little rough, and I'm thinking I really would like to... Yeah, two. To uh, spray it again, so... Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna wait, or uh, after I do this, I'm... Uh, Sit down for a bit? I think so. If or are you, you gonna go lay down? No, I won't. Okay. So, I probably won't come out, though. So. Uh, guys, we love you. Thanks for visiting, and I'll talk to you later. Good things. I gotta go. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, I, do so, too. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut it. I knew he would be really cold, so I wanted to let him know about the heater because he gets cold early. He's skinny. So really all you're doing is just covering it up and then the fun part, you know. I just want to make sure I'm getting, you know, the glue where it needs to go and stuff. But yeah, we're, oh my gosh, this guy called last night and he's like, can you come over tomorrow? Which, you know, Clint hasn't rested since he was gone all day on Wednesday because then yesterday we had a lot of stuff to do because it's Friday today. So the guy's like, can you please come over tomorrow? And he says, well, I'd really like to kind of rest today. It's a little long than that. What if I come over on um, Monday? And the guy agreed, but Clint's talking to him and he's <laughs> he said, what they're doing right now is running them three hundred and fifty dollars an hour and we don't charge that much we only charge a hundred an hour to do a locate and okay so this is the opening for here there's no openings in, oh there is one there in there glad i thought about that okay so let's see but anyways all day long they've been digging on this water all day and they still they can't find the water so that's why he wanted Clint to come over today. Because can you imagine digging for um, 10 hours? $350 an hour. I don't know what the, what is that? $3,500 or something. And uh, not finding what you're looking for. Yeah, so he's like, I'm so fed up with this. I'm going to have you guys do my locates from now on you can double check everything <laughs> which Clint is well known for you know because he's like at least I can trust you Clint's been doing this what he, what it is is he locates underground fiber optic right now but we also do privates and this is a water line which doesn't make sense because it's a water line with um, on metal I mean in a metal line and metal lines are so simple to locate because you just put your machine on it and you locate it you know so it's very simple so i don't know how come the water man couldn't find it so anyways i guess they're going to dig today again and he said if we find it we'll let you know but i feel so bad for him you know i was almost like honey i think we should go but i know he's so tired So I didn't say nothing. I just said, oh, okay, we'll just go over. Because I know Clint really feels bad for these people, and I do too. But I know he needs to rest. So we're going over there really early on Monday. I love this paper. My favorite is like the paint chips, these. Let me show you. Like the cracks and stuff. I just love that. So this one, I think I'm going to measure it a little different because first I'm going to, because here's our, our pocket here, so I'm going to measure this, but I'm going to measure it to this pocket here. Okay, we're going to cut that off. <coughs> so yeah, that's what... 
that I felt so bad for the guy. And he's a close friend of Clint's. He's got a lot of friends. One guy is calling Pops. And, uh, which was funny. Okay, so. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut just a little off so it kind of sets better because the idea is to have a secret journaling spot, you know. I'm going to do this with my scissors. And secret means you can't see it. <coughs> So it was just, I just feel bad for these people, but what we do is he locates underground phone lines, or underground lines, for people, so they don't cut it. Okay. But, and they're doing like huge, a huge job, I mean we're having really big jobs this year. Which is good because I'm really going to try to pay extra like on our house and stuff. Get it paid off. That'd be so awesome. Make sure where it is. I need something straight. <coughs> Not sure. Yeah, that's what what is going on. So, hope you guys are having a good day, good week, or well, good week so far. This one's gonna go up on Monday. I did have one go up on Wednesday or Saturday this time. Okay, I'm gonna say that's good. So, and I want to cut that part out too. So, I'm going to it here and out to here and that will go that way okay Let's see if I can do it with some scissors you guys know I ramble about my life but anyways um, during the winter nobody's digging but man I tell you the first of April it just is crazy Crazy busy. Okay, so like that. How does that look? Looks pretty good. Okay, let's glue that now. <coughs> I love this side too. Did link this below, and I did find the secret journaling spot for um. Friday's video, so linked it. Make sure I have it the right direction. Okay, there we go. But it's been warm. I mean, it was 70 in the bedroom last night when we went to bed. It took forever for it to cool off, so we turned the heater off because we've had the heater on all that time. So we turned the heater off and I found a, an eraser. I'm not sure it's going to work though. And at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock it was still 70. So I was thinking, oh, okay, we need a screen on the window. Because <coughs> we have to make one. Which I meant to tell Clint that we need to make one this weekend. But it's going to be cold so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So that's working, huh? So really the next one I could do from here to here and minus this part right here and then here to here, right? Let's see if we can do it. 
What color do we want? Maybe this one. We haven't used this. Oh, I love that, guys. Okay, so here. Let's see if I can do this or not. Okay. Let's cut it just above that line. Then we'll kind of piece it together. So see, that's the thing. You can't really um, see anything, you know? Can't tell that it's not just a fun page. Okay, so here to here, and I'm just going to cut it just past. I think I love this too because it's got all the greens. That's my favorite color. <clears throat> so yeah, I have no idea what happened to Filbert. I named the cat. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I named the cats. If there's a sister out inside, then or an animal inside. I named them um, after them so that I can remember, you know, that, oh, he's a brother of Wilbur. That's why his name is Philbur, Philbert, because it sounds real similar. So kind of rhyming names because we had a Molly and then a Polly and found out Polly was a boy, so it was P-A-U-L-Y. <laughs> just because, I don't know, just because I'm a nut, I guess. Okay, so, and then I need this one to come right here. So I'm gonna do it like this. So that paper's there, so we're gonna cut it there. But other than that, nothing's going on. Tired. Oh, clump. we went and did a locate yesterday. And, you know, I have bad neck issues. Especially when, um, and that's not right either, is it? Because I still need this part uncovered. So I'm trying to think, but that part's there so that part doesn't matter harder than you think isn't it but so um you know my neck issues i'm gonna take that down to you but whenever like in the car you know how like you hit the brakes and that kind of you know you're not expecting it and it's like throws you up into the windshield well, I don't know what happened really, but Clint did that yesterday, and oh my gosh, I was in tears with my neck. Because it hurts so bad. Okay. It's not perfect, but you know what? I think it's going to work. And you can see there, but you know, that's going to be covered up, and then all I have to do is cover up that little piece. So we'll try it. <clears throat> So yeah, I mean, oh, my neck just kind of seized up. So I took a must relaxer. Surprised I'm awake today. <laughs> but I thought, you know, I want to go create. So that is what I am doing today. At least for now. And later I'll go in and make Clint's birthday cake. Because I still haven't got it made. His birthday was yesterday, but made videos and then we were gone. of the day so that's why we had a uh, treat so this one I'll probably <clears throat> like bring it you know kind of overlap it to cover that spot right there and you could put another piece here if you wanted but I don't think I'm going to I think I'll leave that 
so let's see I mean I have this I could like overlap it like that but see I'm gonna take my jacket off I tell you Wilbur though he is hilarious he was jumping on me <laughs> by teasing him I said I'm gonna get you Wilbur then he's like you want a bet <laughs> jumping on me because what he doesn't jump on me but he like stands at my feet and spread you know reaches up and then he just jumps like a Pomeranian or something that one I feel like it's gonna be too short so I'm gonna try to do it a little bit lighter that. yeah so he's like jumping like this little Pomeranian or something cracks me up he does that to my sister. He only sees this like once a year. And then he, that one is way too short. I thought it, hmm. Michelle, what in the world is wrong with you? Okay, let's try that again. But yeah, so he was jumping up like a little Pomeranian. And you have to pick him up, you know. Our cats are weird. They're also well so socialized. <laughs> Cracks me up. Okay, so that would still be okay there. That'll work. Yeah, these cat these people are like, oh, we bring in stray cats and they're not socialized and you know, we never know where they are because they're hiding under the bed or whatever none of our cats are like that I mean I'll have four or five cats on top of me I'm drinking my coffee in the morning okay that's it so now well you know what I mean that's it for now so now I'm going to get some cardstock and we're gonna make little um, tags for it so we just need to figure out our tag it's about three inches so I'm gonna go like three and we can do three and a half and it's as wide as this is which is what one and a half so one and a half by three and a half so try that and see what we think some reason your you know ruler or whatever doesn't fit it's about the same actually it's two and the right side in there so I'm gonna do two and a half by one and a half But if for some reason you can't get your um, ruler in there, you can just use like a smaller piece of paper. <clears throat> like you could use this, you know, to kind of fit, fit up in there. Okay, so here's one here. Okay, so... So I'm going to say three inches that way, and then I'm going to kind of just eyeball it this way, which is two, two by three. <clears throat> That's why we save these pieces.
thinking I had five. That's why I was looking at it. I was thinking, do I have five? I do, because I have one there. So, that's not much. So, four by... three and a half by by two and a quarter. I don't think this is three and a half. Okay, so let me see what else I have. Okay, let me get another piece of cardstock. Okay, so that's three and a half by two and a half. Okay, so you just want them to be a little bit taller than the pockets, obviously. Sorry, I'm going to see if my water's still good. I think I need a drink. <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to find little pieces to go on here to hide the fact that they're there. So, what do we want to do? So we could... Think, think, Michelle, think. Let me look in this little dude. <clears throat> hmm. There's like a card. You could do something like that. And I would put a little piece of foam tape here. I'll show you that. Just to kind of raise it up just a little bit. Probably. We could do flowers. Do whatever you wanted to do. I'm trying to keep in mind, you know, my theme, but you could do something like that and just attach it to there and then you're not going to see it. I don't like that though. I, ooh. Those are kind of interesting. It's not big enough though. really thin. <clears throat> but let's look at our flowers and see if there's anything there that we want to use. You could do pieces of lace. That would be pretty. But I would still do like cardstock first, like this. And then I would put lace on it if that's the way that we decide to go. Um, let's see. Uh, flowers. I'm doing this one wild, wild and crazy. Oh, there's pretty, but those are really Christmassy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You think of poinsettias any other time of year? Probably not. There's some flowers. Those could work. Not sure who sent me that this, so if you sent it to me, let me know. I don't know, it's just an idea. We might just do one because this is a pretty long video, and then we might come back in tomorrow's video and continue our, our decorating. But I kind of want to at least show you one on this video. So let's see if we like these. 
just to kind of give you an idea I do like that right there okay so let's um, cut a piece to go under this so I really like that one green piece that we had My mess here <clears throat> I don't want it too, you know, too big. Just about an inch, probably. And then I want it probably about that line right there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and corner around it, because then I think it looks nicer. I'm not going to ink it though because I want it to kind of blend in. Okay, so that would go there and then this would go on top of it. That's kind of cute. Okay, so um, foam tape or something, just to lift it just a little bit. Is, would my foam tape be too much? It might be. So what I'm going to do, take my little scraps and maybe I'll just kind of um, use this. Just going to double it just to raise it just a touch so I'm going to go ahead and half it like this and it doesn't have to be perfect you're not going to see it somehow yesterday yeah I got on I watch a lot of like videos on Facebook and stuff and got onto is it the Ghost Whisperer, I think? I don't know. It just showed up on there. So I was watching, <laughs> watching these Ghost Whisperer things. So, And it kind of gives me the creeps, but it doesn't, you know. And uh, I keep hearing this tree against that window again. So I'm thinking, what the heck is that sound? <laughs> Ooh, do I like that better? No, I kind of like the green. Okay. I'm just going to put here. I don't really want it to like splurt out anywhere. Just kind of put it in the center. And we'll put this guy right on top. So then, you know, it's going to be there, it's going to look decorated, and you're not going to see it. That is a secret to my spot. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. hope it inspired you to make some secret journaling spaces in your journals. And when we come back in tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you how I decorate the rest of this. And we might move on to this one if we have time. Love you guys. See you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.